Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. Subscribe if you haven't. This video is my predictions for WWDC 2009. Now the Worldwide Developers Conference will be running from June 8th to the 12th, of course, 2009 in San Francisco, California. And uh, according to Apple, WWDC is sold out. Specifically, they say it's sold out in record time. Now, I kind of expected this to happen because Apple usually participates in two major conferences a year, Macworld and Worldwide Developers Conference. They say they're no longer going to be at Macworld in the sense that they won't be doing the keynote, they won't be as prevalent. Of course, Macworld, Apple will be there in one form or the other. Uh, if, even if they don't have their own booth, it's all about Apple products. Um, but I'm saying the company itself won't be there. Um, so, what are exactly are my predictions for WWDC? First of all, I think we're going to see a lot more about the iPhone SDK. I think there was a lot of features that uh, we didn't, th that they may have, they've hidden, essentially, in the operating system, but they haven't actually allowed us to use uh, in developer versions, beta versions of the SDK. So I think we're going to see a lot about that, but I think the main gist of this event, and these are the little things I s expect to happen. The main gist is we're going to see a lot about Snow Leopard. They're going to talk a lot about Grand Central, t their Grand Central technology, which is their support for multi-core CPUs into the operating system, more than Leopard had. They're going to talk about OpenCL, which is, you know, using the graphics card. Powerful GPUs. You'd be surprised that, but GPUs are much more powerful than CPUs. Um, so we're going to see we're going to see a lot about OpenCL, which will harness that power for computations that your CPU would normally do. And I think with all this, essentially what Apple's trying to do is it's, they're trying to give you a product that's superior, uh, that'll, or rather that'll make your hardware better. So even though I have, right now, I guess it's around a year old MacBook Pro, when I load Snow Leopard up onto here, it's going to be snappier and run better than the first day I had it with Leopard. That's really what I think Snow Leopard is trying to grab. They're trying to, it's not going to be a lot of flashy things it's not going to be uh, you know as big as big of a difference between leopard and tiger was in on the user's end but performance wise and on the back end snow leopard is going to be a significant advancement and i think they're also going to show off uh, quicktime 10 there's going to be a lot of i, th I think there's going to be a lot of interesting new features in quicktime 10 including uh, full screen video recording and this will work similar to snaps pro and screenflow so it'll record the entire screen and then they're also going to have integrated video sharing features. So, for instance, you'll have a video upload, a, vi a YouTube video uploader directly in QuickTime. So, uh, th so that's what I think they're going to talk about. Snow Leopard is really going to be the primary thing that they're going to be talking about, because Worldwide Developers Conference developers need the software. So again, they're going to be talking about the iPhone SDK software. Snow Leopard software is going to be the big thing. But wait there's one more thing and Steve Jobs prances out onto stage his return to Apple with a nice new iPhone ready to talk to you guys about now I've already touched on what I expect the iPhone Pro to be in a separate video youtube.com slash the revive I'm gonna check that out but the gist of it is it's going to have a new camera and it's going to be and be an upgrade essentially uh, that makes people want to get a new hardware because again right now the iPhone OS 3.0 isn't really as revolutionary as it's as the original iPhone software in 2.0 was with the App Store but if Apple can re release new hardware let's say they release something that allows you to do video chat and they can revolutionize that and make it a, a thing that people use on a considerable basis consistent basis uh, then I think they've succeeded with their third iteration of the iPhone so uh, iPhone Pro. And there's a few things I didn't mention in the iPhone Pro video that perhaps we'll see a full keyboard. I would love to see a full slide-out keyboard, but I doubt they'll put it in. Just saying. So, uh, iPhone Pro, iPhone SDK, a lot about Snow Leopard. That's what I'm, pre what I'm pretty sure is going to happen. Now, what is the maybe? The things that may probably won't happen, but there's still a chance. First, I think that Apple will lower the Mac, or there's rumors, speculation that Apple will lower Mac prices across the board. This could be in response to Apple, to PC ads saying Apple things are really expensive. I don't really see this happening from a personal standpoint because Apple likes that high markup. That's how they make their money. 
Uh, and people buy it, too. They've had quarter one, quarter two, they've had record profits. Of course, they've not sold as many Macs as they wanted to. They've lost some Mac sales in quarter two. Uh, but they're still making money as a company, so there's not really a reason to drop prices across the board. But there is some strong, strong speculation that that will happen. And I, Another thing is Blu-ray drives. I'm using the beta software for the iPhone, which also requires me to be running a beta version of iTunes. And with that, one of the things that it says is there, blah, 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 Blu-ray support. It says it can play Blu-ray discs. So I think we're going to see, in response to this, in the new iTunes software, if iTunes will have the option to play Blu-ray, that means you're going to have to have a drive in there. So I think even if they don't have it standard, they'll at least have an option for a Blu-ray drive. Um... And it'll have, and the software will have something called Grace Notes Video Platform, which will be able to grab metadata, cover art, synopsis, cast and credits, and detailed product information for the identified video discs. It can identify Blu-ray, DVD, uh, even CD, I think. So it'll, even though it would be a little bit different for CD, for music CDs, but it'd be something really cool to have in iTunes uh, to grab the, all that data. And the biggest thing is a tablet netbook. Well, first of all, there's one thing I can tell you. There will never be an Apple netbook. By definition, a netbook is a low-cost computer that you can get online with. Apple will never release a low-cost netbook. That's not how they operate. So if you're thinking they're going to release a low-cost computer, you're wrong. So forget it. There won't be an Apple netbook. But what I could see, what I can see happening is a touchscreen tablet with those 10 inch, 10.2 inch touchscreens that Apple reportedly ordered. I could see that becoming a, a tablet. And actually, uh, found in the ADM server logs was a reference to a MacBook Mini. So this could be referencing uh, that there will be a touchscreen Mac that won't have a keyboard, such as a touchscreen tablet. That's what I'm thinking, a touchscreen tablet. And, um, you think, oh, server logs, ADM, blah, blah, blah. That's actually how they discovered the MacBook Air. The original uh, reference that got the speculation and then ultimately it was released was ADM server logs saying, hey, MacBook Air. So that's just something to keep in mind. But what do I think this touchscreen tablet will be? I think it'll be a Kindle killer. I think Apple I think Apple iTunes will start selling digital books. They already sell audio books, but I think they'll put that on the front burner. I think they'll again start selling digital books. There's been reports that they're digitizing books so that they'll have that for their touchscreen tablet. And I think that it'll have HD video playback. So it won't just be a, a one-shot thing like the Kindle is playing books. Uh, this thing, this product will play books. It'll play your music. It, it'll be an internet tablet that can do all these things and have HD video playback. So it's a device that you have wherever you need it. It's going to be a small device, 10.2 inch touch screen. Everything's done on the touch screen with multi-touch gestures similar to the iPhone and iPod touch. And it's really easy to use. That's all I really have to say about that because that would be simply amazing. If they can execute it perfectly, you know, who would buy a Kindle? Who would buy a Kindle if for $100 more they can get, you know, a shiny Apple product that can play HD video, that can browse the web in an amazing manner. And one of the things that they've been speculating is Verizon may be coming into the picture. Uh, so maybe, not with the CDMA network, I'm pretty sure that's not going to fly, but maybe... You know, this will be released in sometime next year on the Verizon LTE uh, long-term evolution network, 4G network. And, you know, I'm not really sure if Apple would want to do that, have half their customers on iPhone have to have AT&T. And if they want to have this new device open up a Verizon contract, but maybe it'll be similar to the Kindle where, you know, to launch this new LTE service, Verizon will be, you'll pay a little bit extra up front, but you'll have free internet access wherever you go. Uh, just something to keep in mind. You know, it would be really, really great if they did that. So those are my predictions for WWDC. Again, what I'm pretty sure is going to happen, they're going to touch a lot on the iPhone uh, software development kit and the 3.0, 3.0, whatever, software. And Snow Leopard and Steve Jobs is going to walk out and talk about an iPhone Pro. Uh, perhaps, probably, I'm not sure. Blu-ray drives, touchscreen tablet, not a netbook. Uh iTunes will sell digital books similar to the Kindle store and uh, lower pr Mac prices across the board, even though that probably, again, won't happen because similar to the netbook, Apple doesn't sell cheap things, and they're doing just fine right now with their more expensive, marked-up product, if you will. In any event, thanks for watching. Take care. See you later.